My name is Gronia and I'm a second year social work student at McGee. And this is a story about my time on placement with Include Youth in Derry on the Give and Take programme. I have been on an amazing adventure and met some fantastic people along the way. So here it is. of my placement. It has been an amazing learning experience. I have learned so much about myself and others, especially the importance of just listening and being there. I have gained so much knowledge about young people from a care background and I've been able to better my relationship building skills. Working through COVID has given me the chance to develop my technology skills and it's also given me the opportunity to adapt to new ways of working. But most importantly, I've been given an insight into the lived experience of some young people from a care background in our city. I have seen their resilience, their strength, and all that they have to offer our community. So that's enough for me. Now I would like you to meet some amazing young people who have been a big part of my story, and hopefully I have been a positive part of theirs. I will definitely take on board all that I have learned from them and use it to better my practice in the future. Who better to learn from than the experts by experience? Up now to one of the young people on the Give and Take programme and ask them a few questions about social workers and his experience. Yeah, that's so, okay. Yeah. So what has your personal experience of social workers been like? Has it been positive, negative, a bit of both? Well, it's been positive so far. Yeah. You know, um, because you know, everyone's, uh, if I've asked for help, you know, they, they've given me it. Um, I, I, I've, I've not been told, you know, no, I've not been told to go away. You know, I've, I've, I've not been ignored. I feel like I've actually had a voice. Good. Um, I feel like I've actually speak to people if I need help. Good. And it's been really good. Um, good for my mental health and everything. Because it's nice being heard. That's really good to hear, Chase. 
and this is Orla, one of our experts by experience from Include Youth. Hi Orla, um, I'd just like to know what advice you would give uh, any social work student going on placement or perhaps going on their future career with young people? Uh, I would definitely give the advice that no matter how much you think you know, that you won't know everything and you just they look at a young person as an individual and their experiences, their feelings, everything about them is different. So every young person will be different and they'll feel things differently. Um, also, that even if you don't know what's going on, they just try and be that listening ear for them to talk to, even if you don't know what the answer is going to be, because sometimes that's all they need. Also, I would definitely say uh, never be ignorant or be shelter yourself off. It's okay to feel sometimes, because sometimes people just need genuine human connection more than anything else, more than what you've read off a book. It is all about experience and it's better that you just be real with them than be talking out of a book that you have got. Another young person from the Give and Take program and I'm going to find out as well about Lizzie's experience as social workers. Hi Lizzie. Hi. And so what has your personal experience of social workers been like? My personal experience is like I, when I, I had social workers in my life when I was younger but when I joined 16 plus that like, I moved out of the house when I was 16 and I had a family intervention worker for like six weeks and then I had my current social worker mm -hmm. but I feel like the family intervention one like although she was lovely it's just a fact of changing yeah like you have someone you get to know them and then change so quick right. but my social worker Tanya now I've had her like since just since I joined 16 plus so like four years now she's lovely do you think that works better having the same? Yeah, having, having the same. Like, I know it's not the same for everyone, like, just reasons why people mm -hmm. have to change social worker, but for me, having the same one, like, that she's known me since I was younger, so. Yeah, that makes a big difference for yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, so in your opinion, what makes a good and a not so good social worker? Well, a good social worker, like, obviously cares about, like, the people they're working with. Um, and a bad social worker would just really only care about tick boxes and pleasing the the person higher above them, like the manager and all. Yeah, and have you had experience in both or not so good social workers like that? I've just had good, my, yeah. I learned my social worker. Yeah, that's good. That's good to hear. And so what advice would you have to any social work students that might work with young people in the future, either in placement or in their career? Well, get as much experience as you can with a right wide range of different people and just don't be shocked by anything. If, <laughs> if you're easily shocked, I don't think you should be a social worker. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lizzie. Appreciate it. Thank you for Thank your time. You.